evening everybody i just arrived home from work and starving so i'm actually going to use a speedy tonight we're going to be making a dish that i made in the ninja foodie xl where you uh, pressure cook um it's like a complete meal it's kind of like a pasta sausage i don't want to say goulash it's just um just follow along and i'll show you what i'm going to be making but i did make it before so come on over Just want to make sure your square ceramic dish is in and I'm going to show you everything we need but for right now what I'm going to do is we're going to make sure when you close the lid make sure the flipper is in the right hand position because it brings you over to air fry and stove top so we're using this as a stove top tonight so we're just going to drop it down to sear saute I'm going to turn it on high because I'm just want to warm that up so over here is all the ingredients that we need so i have like a half a pound of hamburger i forgot to take this out so it's frozen so while that's warming up i'm just going to go ahead and take that hamburger and just place it in there for now i also have a half a pound of italian sausage that's going to go in after we defrost the um beef just a little bit i also have eight ounces i think this is a bit more than eight ounces but this is eight ounces of pasta we're going to be using some garlic powder, onion powder, and since I actually dropped the Italian seasoning and broke the bottle, I don't have any and I forgot to replace it. So we're going to be using some oregano leaves and some parsley. We're going to be using a jar of sauce, some Parmesan cheese. I don't have any beef stock or even the better than bouillon with me. So we're just going to use two cups of water. So as you can hear, that's just starting to warm up. I'm just gonna take my hand and flip it over. You can tell by the color. That's just gonna take a bit of time for it to cook. So probably what I'm gonna end up doing, I'm just gonna take the pork and just put that in there. This is actually Italian sausage. It's medium, it's not sweet and it's not hot. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to like four. I want you guys to see how we do that. So I'm going to, that's time, here we go four i might even do three because i because it's frozen solid if it wasn't frozen solid i'd keep it on four so basically what we're going to do we're just going to cook this up and just going to break it up into pieces i'm just going to peel off the burger as it starts to cook somewhat there we go so, i'm not going to lie i did add a couple tablespoons of um water to help this break down so to speak to, to defrost quicker so next up, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to add some of the seasoning. This is uh, garlic powder. Probably going to add like a half of teaspoon. There we go. This is onion powder. Oh boy, this is like hard in there. <laughs> Hold on. There we go, just mad. Just a little bit of this, maybe like a quarter teaspoon. All right, the oregano. Oops, it's got a little floor. Mm, probably like, that's probably like a half to three quarters of a teaspoon of oregano. And then parsley. Probably like a tablespoon of parsley. Some fresh black peppercorn. I like, I like pepper, so you can probably add like a quarter to a half a teaspoon of black pepper. It's up to you. I'm not using any stock because I don't have any. I'd use beef stock. I'm going to turn this down to chew. I'm going to have like a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm just going to give this all a stir here. Get those spices in there. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and add, let's see here, add the pasta. I love this shape. This this shape is so hard to find. So hard. I don't even know where, what they call it, to be honest with you. Go ahead, add two cups of water. Add a jar. This is a um, 24 ounce or 680 gram jar of um, spaghetti sauce. I am going to add a little bit of water in here, shake it about just to get all the sauce out of here. So I'm adding a couple tablespoons of water in here and I'm just going to give it a shake. Perfect. I 
And we're just going to give it a stir because you want that pasta submerged. You really do. Then you know something, everybody? Like if you don't like as much meat or if you're on a tight budget, you want to stretch things out even further, just do a quarter pound of sausage and a quarter pound of beef. Trust me, it it actually is really good. So I've done that before. Um, when you don't have a lot in the house, you just use what you have. That's done. I'm going to go ahead and lower the lid. Yeah, the horse is whinnying, whinnying, whinnying a lot because they covered his eyes. I don't know anything about horses. I don't know why they do that, but he, or yeah, it is a boy. He um, is not happy about it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. So that's going to end um, the sear saute. So now, and I should have said this, but you're going to flip it over to the rapid cooker. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try, we're going to try straight up steam and just see what happens. I'm going to put it on. Hmm. Actually, let's just do 15 minutes. And if I need to cook it longer, I can sear saute it. So let's just go ahead. There we go. We're about three steam. seconds left. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and shut the fan off so you guys can hear me. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ooh. It is bubbling away. That's awesome. No burnage at the bottom. Wow. We're going to taste test the pasta. I'm going to go ahead and shut the whole uh, Ninja Speedy off. This looks amazing. So I'm going to grab a piece of pasta. I just want to see if it's done or not. No, I think it needs like another minute or two. Mm, hot. Yeah. So the resi residual heat will continue to cook this. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take some of that Parmesan cheese <clears throat> and you can put in as little or as much as you want. Whoops. I'm just gonna put in probably like a quarter cup, a couple tablespoons to be honest with you, or two a quarter cup. Now this cheese might suck up all that sauce to where you might have to add more sauce. But I might go ahead and add a bit more sauce. But this is like, yeah, just needs to cook up just a little bit longer, the pasta. And this is, oops, and this is actually perfect. Oopsies, come on. Ah, I can't get it. There we go. And it fell on the floor. Great. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Mm. This is really good. Yeah, I might add just a, I don't know. I really, it's up to you. If you guys want to go ahead and add more sauce, you can. I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to shut the lid, let it cook in here for a few more minutes. And um, the pasta will be completely done. I might go ahead next time add um, more water or more stock, probably like two and a half cups, and then maybe cook it for like 18 minutes. Um, yeah, you probably even go like, excuse me, like two and a half or two and three quarters cup of water. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm not going to add any more cheese. Yeah, if you want cheese, you can add it per the dish, like the bowl, if you want to. And uh, yeah, this is perfect. So thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate you. Yeah, this, I can't believe how easy this is. This is fantastic. So I really don't need to bring my XL unless I really want to pressure cook. This is amazing. So yeah, thanks everybody. Take care. Until next time. Put down a